So, I hope you've been practicing your multiplication tables. Writing them out is one way to practice recall. Can someone at home test you? Choose a times table, perhaps, that you need to practice. Practice saying it. Practice covering up the answers. Can you remember what was underneath? 4 times 7 equals 28. Okay, so today we're going to continue learning to multiply and we are going to practice a different strategy to help us recall or remember our times tables quickly. In the last video we looked at arrays and today we're going to be revising repeated addition. We will, after we've done a little bit of revision, move on to more complicated multiplication calculations, but today we will be revising repeated addition. So, for example, the calculation 7 times 4, or that would mean 7 groups of 4, okay? Or that could mean um, 7 lots of 4. But if we think of it as repeated addition, we could write the calculation out like this. That 7 times 4 is the same as 4, add 4, add 4, add 4. Add 4, add 4, add 4, okay? Because here we have 1 lot of 4, 2 lots of 4, 3 lots of 4, 4 lots of 4, 5 lots of 4, 6 lots of 4, 7 lots of 4. And you might want to do a number line to help you with this calculation of repeated addition. So if we were working out 7 lots of 4, okay, we would draw our number line. We would put a zero here. We would add our first lot of four by writing add four at the top of the hop and four here as the answer. And then we would add another lot of four. And four, add four is eight. We would continue and add another lot of four. Eight, add four is 12 we would continue and add another lot of 4. 12 add 4 is 16. Now, we have to make sure that we add the correct amount. So we started at 0, and so far we've added 1, 2, 3, 4 lots of 4. So yes, we need to keep going. Add another 4. 16 add 4. Hmm, well, 6 add 4 is 10, so we know that 16 add 4 is 20. Add another 4. 20 add 4 is 24. Add another 4. 24 add 4 is 28. So let's just double check how many 4s we've added. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the answer that we've landed on is 28. So we've just worked out that if I write the calculation at the top, seven lots of four is 28. And we did that by a repeated addition. Now, just like I said in the last video, if you prefer to not use this strategy because you know your times tables, that's absolutely fine. And you can just write the answer down when it comes to doing your task. If you try this strategy and you don't like it, you can always use the array strategy that we worked on in the last video. Again, it can be quite time consuming using the number line, so some people might prefer to use their fingers. For example, if the calculation was three sixes, because sometimes you might see a question like this, three sixes. That just means three lots of six. So sometimes people like to do repeated addition, but maybe use their fingers to keep track of where they're going. And because they know that they're doing three lots of six, we put up three fingers, in this case, two fingers and a thumb, just to help us keep track. Okay, so each thumb or finger represents a group of six. 
So each time we're going to add six. So this one, we put zero in our head and we add six, 12, 18. So each one stood for six, six, 12, 18. So three lots of six, 18, and we've calculated the answer. Again, we can use this strategy when we have a more complicated question to complete, such as nine times what equals 27. So in this case, it means nine groups of what make 27. But again, just like I showed you how to do this in the previous video using arrays, you can still use repeated addition to work this out. So we're going to count in nines this time until we get to 27. So I'm going to put a zero here. I'm going to add the first lot of nine, which is nine. And then I'm going to add another lot of nine. Nine add nine or double nine is 18. And I'm still not at 27 yet. So I'm going to add another nine. 18 add nine is 27. So I've arrived at 27. I just count the number of hops. One, two, three, three lots of nine make 27. So going back to the calculation that we were asked to complete, I rub out the question mark and I am able to write the answer, which is nine times three equals 27. Good luck with your calculations today. Remember to choose an appropriate level for you, spicy, spicier or spiciest.